I'm Steve Jones. I'm a technical process consultant here at Steelcase. I'm Valerie Miller. I'm the operations engineering manager of the wood plant. I uh, work with all 13 Steelcase plants on integrating and developing and deploying uh, the Industrial Internet of Things, or IIoT. We help people solve problems by providing them with data and information about the processes that are of interest to them and important to them. This plant specifically and our plant in Tijuana, Mexico are responsible for our wood processing in North America. We also have plants in Europe and Asia that also do wood manufacturing. And in 2019, we started to kick off uh, a lot of our reinvention of how we produce our laminate product within the factory. We essentially created a digital twin to mimic the processes before they were even, before we even ordered equipment. So what it allowed us to do is it really allowed us to start to do some of that what would happen if analysis ahead of even saying with the, the equipment supplier, here's what we want. And IoT really allows us to take that information as it's running in real time and interpret that so that we get a little bit smarter in our core problem solving activities uh, that have always really existed within the plan. Uh, when an engineer approached us and said, hey, this machine has difficulties on occasion. It's a legacy device. It's an oldie but a goodie, let's say. When we don't use it that often, but when we use it, it has to perform well. And when he asked us how often the machine is not performing the way that we should, I think traditionally you'd get a person out there with a stopwatch and a clipboard, but it could be days or weeks before they might see this, this issue arise. And we were able to uh, wire in the Opta to this device and capture the signals that indicate that the machine's not performing exactly the way that it should be. So Opta is a small PLC, very cost effective. It has digital inputs and digital outputs, analog inputs, outputs, everything that a, uh, a regular uh, PLC would have. Oh, well, currently uh, we have it. We have it on a D stacker machine here in the plant, which just basically takes takes uh, boards and that are in a in a stack and unstacks them and puts them on a conveyor for further processing. We recently introduced the Opta here and monitor the signal, and we convert them to the, these things that tell us about the machine, like I'm in a state of down or I'm maybe starved. I'm which is waiting for material or I'm blocked. I can't get rid of material. So we wire the Opta into machines that the, into the signals of these machines that provide us with that kind of information. And then um, from there, we uh, did a little programming and we were able to uh, get the device, the Opta to send the information that exactly the information that we need about the state of the machine. We have a variety of dashboards that we have available. We developed those with a tool called Tableau where it accesses a database that we have of all our IoT events. That data populates dashboards that can help people understand uh, and come to their own conclusions about whether the machine requires further attention or not. So there are millions and millions of events that happen on the shop floor every day. And there are some events that are very, very critical for us to, to understand, to have visibility to. And that wasn't so easy to do a decade or so ago, but there's these new tools, these IoT tools becoming available that are much more cost effective than they have been in the past. We're still in this arena of industry 4.0. And Opta fits beautifully into that, which is an embedded system, connects to the internet, uses big data, all these fantastic things. And we're allowing people to look at the results that come off different machines. And they're making those decisions right now about what needs to be done, because there are a lot of people with a lot of opinions, but man, when you have an idea or an opinion and you can support it with data, you can usually get things to happen much more quickly. And we see that quite regularly. We're positioning ourselves also for the time when machines make such decisions. And so I think it naturally fits that AI will be a tool that we'll be using in the future. We use it a little bit right now, but we think if we, if we curate our data appropriately and ask the right questions, it could be revolutionary for us.